Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. So today I am like a kid in the candy store. I am very excited because I just picked up a Festool Domino. It is the DF500, it's the small one. I didn't go for the XL because I figured that was a little more than what I needed and this is gonna do the job. I am super happy, this is my very first Festool. It might be my last, I don't know. I have a hard time justifying the price for their tools. Unfortunately, Festool is the only company that makes a portable mortising machine. Maybe someday when Festool releases their patent, there'll be other companies making these, but for now, you gotta spend the big bucks right now. So when I picked up the Festool Domino, I didn't get the tenons for it because, well, frankly, the store was all sold out. I thought they were kind of expensive for what they were, and I thought, you know what, I could make them myself. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own tenons. All my machines are set up and ready to go, and so I thought I'm gonna make a quick video and show you how to make your own Festool Dominoes. For those of you who are wondering what a Festool Domino looks like, it essentially is a, a domino, and it's flat and it has little rounded corners on it. So I'm gonna be making these dominoes out of ash and I'm gonna start on my joiner by squaring up the edge. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna rip thin strips off on my bandsaw. Now my bandsaw, it doesn't really do a nice clean cut because it has a very few teeth per inch on it and it's not very smooth. So I'm just gonna head back to the joiner and clean it up and go back to the bandsaw. So it's gonna be going back and forth, back and forth. So, you know, rinse and repeat. So I'm just gonna record a time lapse of me cutting all those pieces and squaring up this edge. So it'll get pretty boring. So I'm gonna speed it up. All right, now that we have like a hundred little sticks made, we just have to head over to the planer and bring them down to thickness. So we have to plane these down to five millimeters, which is about three sixteenths of an inch-ish. Pretty much all you have to do is just creep up to it until it fits nice and snug. So I've already done that, it's already set. So we're just gonna go ahead and plane these all down. I gotta shut this door, traffic is too annoying. Next at the table saw, we're gonna cut the tenons down to width and just creep up to it until it fits just nicely inside that hole. I also made a bunch of chopsticks at the same time into the burn barrel. Next, we're gonna head over to the router table and we're gonna round over the edges on these tenons. And I'm gonna use an eighth of an inch round over. That seems to be the, the right size. And it's gonna create rounded edges to match the, uh, the corners that the Festool Domino makes. And for the last step, we're gonna cut them down to an inch and an eighth. And the safest way to do that is on the table saw with a cross cut sled. And just using a pencil to hold it in place, make a cut and flick it out of the way. And it's just uh, one of those rinse and repeat things. So there you have it, it's an easy to make Festool Domino. 
Now I suggest that you keep them in a Ziploc bag to keep any moisture or humidity away from them because the last thing you want is these things to all swell up and they don't fit your mortise. So I checked online and for about 60 bucks you can get 300 of these. That's not too bad I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna leave it up to you whether or not it's worth your time to make these. So that is it for this video guys. If you're new to my channel I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. It'll help this video get discovered more and like always we'll see you in the next one.